ready, so we got some vinyl plank flooring. We got to make some intricate cuts around this banister here, and we want to keep it tight because we don't want to do any type of trim work on top of it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to make that happen. So what's good? We got our plank in the scene here. I'm lining it up first. We got to cut it down lengthwise so we have nice manageable pieces. So it's locked in, kind of janky like, but just to give me the length there, and I'm going to go ahead and snap that off. So this is the perfect size that I need to work with. That's going to go to the edge of the stair. And then once it's all said and done, we will put a stair cap on that to finish that edge off. Next, we got to switch the blade out there. Fresh blades are key to your success in the vinyl plank flooring game here. So we're just using the folding utility knife. You can get it at all the big box joints there. Super handy tool. You get it for under $10 in most cases. Got a blade locked in. Now we're going to lock it back in the side there again. And we're going to butt it right up to that. So let me get you a better view here so you can see what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and mark it off a few spots. This is exactly where it's going to line up with the outer edge. So I'm going to score it right there a few times. And if you don't have a good steady hand, you're kind of new to the trades, go ahead and use a straight edge for that. Now the outside part of it that's going to run right along the stair there, we're going to mark that one next. So we're just going to take a plank on that one. Line it up right up against it. That's going to be a good straight edge for me. So I'm going to go ahead and score that a few times now. Now, I don't want to intersect that with the first line. I just want to go ahead and score it. And we're going to go ahead and wiggle that back and forth, get it loose so we know what we're working with. Then next, we're going to lock it back in on the left there where we were. And we have to mark off where that other angle is. So we're going to go ahead and line up a plank again. And we're going to bring that down. Let's get you a better view there. See where I got that lined up? Right there. Boom. Now, score that a few times. And we're going to go ahead and have it hit that spot where it's going to intersect there. Just creating that line. See that line picking up there? That's good. Now here's where things are going to get interesting. We're going to go ahead and bring the first line we did and connect it on the other one. Watch this. So we're lined up there. Everything's good. So there's the other one. Line up that plank there. Now we're going to hold that in place. Bring that down. Boom. That's where it has to stop. Then from that point over, we're going to go ahead and box it off. Don't worry. We're going to go ahead and get that angle done, but we're just doing the process of elimination right now. Get you a better view. Wiggle that back and forth. We're going to go ahead and snap that off and get it out of the way there. We don't need it. We just need what we need to work with. Boom. A little bit of bark on the tree there. That's okay. Just take your blade and shave that off. It'll make it nice and manageable and easy to work with there. So see if we can get you a better shot of that. See a little chunk there? We need to get rid of that. So just going to shave that off a few times. Get it nice and clean. And that's one of the bigger things when you're making these intricate cuts is having any excess showing from under it. Just take your blade and shave that off like you're whittling a tree branch. You know what I'm saying? Now we're creating our angle going from corner to corner here. Score that a few times. We'll just snap that off or we could take a pair of snips to it if we want to clip it off. Whatever's going to be easier. Bringing the snips into the seam for this one. We don't even have to actually clip it per se. You just pinch onto it, wiggle it back and forth. It'll snap off. Watch this. See that? Boom. Horrible camera view there, but you know what's good. See that? A little bit of bark hanging off of that. So that's where we're going to go ahead and take our blade to it and just kind of shave that off. Let's see how we're doing here size-wise. How much of this we have to clean up? See how everything's lining up right there? We're just the slightest bit hefty. So we're going to go ahead and pop that out one last time. We're going to take our utility blade to it and just make it nice and manageable. Basically cutting at an angle under it there, just getting that excess plank, the little bit of shards and excess bark off of there, that's going to make it fall right into place. So just take your blade, shave it a few times, nice sharp knife. Look at, just score that little bit off. Work your way all the way around all the edges there that you made a cut on. Get all that debris out of the way. That's the other key thing when you're doing this here, too. When you get in those little shards, you don't want them building up under there. It's going to be all bad. So look at that. We're going to go ahead and interlock the side. Let's see if we got it on this one. Go ahead and push that down. Little snug in all reality, but we're going to get it here. I'm going to lift it up. Slide it into this one. We're going to find ourselves a tapping block. We're just going to make one here. Get yourself a scrap piece of plank. Create a dummy T 
tapping block or dummy plank. No need to have fancy tools. You just lock that on right there. Go ahead and bring a hammer into the scene. Watch this. So I got my knees on the one plank so it doesn't go flying out anywhere. Tap it together and boom. Everything's good. Tap that together. Look at that seam coming together. Oh, that's phenomenal there. Okay, everything's good. Let's get you a close-up shot. Boom, look how snug that is right in there. That's how you make that happen. Any questions, go ahead and comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.